Hey everyone, Gareth at QC Tech here. Uh, today with a video uh, talking about the open source uh, voice over IP application, Linphone. Um, so I'm just going to switch across to here. This is my sort of little plan for the uh, for the video. Uh, quick intro, which obviously we're just sort of doing now. Uh, I'm going to do uh, what is Linphone. I'm um, just show you the Linphone website, uh, and then we're going to actually get into uh, downloading and installing Linphone on iOS and Android, and we'll go through the setup wizard um, and get that connected. Uh, to an extension um, and prove that it works. So we fairly recently as a company, we uh, we actually set up a, a new company um, called Kiss Telecom specifically to do voice over IP phone systems for our customers. Um, I got fed up of dealing with um, the phone companies who didn't really seem to know what they were doing and weren't particularly responsive. Um, so as a response to that, I uh, decided to uh, set up a new company with my friend Dylan, friend and, and former business partner Dylan. Um, and that company is Kiss Telecom. So as part of that, we needed a uh, solution for desktop and for mobile uh, for soft phone. Um, and we, uh, I've been using Linphone for, for donkeys and it was the obvious choice. Um, so uh, just looking here at the, at the Linphone website, you can see here that it's an open source voice over IP phone system project. Um, so Linphone is run by a company called, or it's backed by a company called Beldon Communications. They're uh, based in Grenoble in France. Um, in the Alps. Sounds like a lovely place to go and visit. Um, but one of the nice things about this, and you can see it's, it's listed down here, is that there's a version of Linphone for iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, and for Linux. So it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, I mean, maybe if you're using an old Spark or something, then maybe there isn't one for that. But, um, but essentially, you can get a version of Linphone for just about anything. Um, so, if we head across here, so you can see it, yep. Yeah. Beldon Communications, uh, and they're in Grenoble. Um, and Beldon do offer some commercial support and some commercial licensing uh, for the software. So if that's the sort of thing that you need, then uh, then you can get that from them. Um, so yes, uh, really, really nice bit of software. It's open source, runs on everything. Uh, links to your phone address book if it's on your um, mobile phone. Um, so yeah, really, really good bit of kit. So first off, we're going to get it installed on this Android device. So first things first is we're going to go to the uh, to the App Store or the Play Store. Sorry, uh, you can see that the last thing I searched for was Linphone, but I'm going to type it in anyway. L I N P H O N E, Linphone, uh, and you'll see it's come up as the first result there for me. Um, it's an orange icon with a kind of white speech bubble uh, and a little kind of phone icon embossed in the middle of there. Really quite clever little logo. Do like that. So we'll uh, we'll download that now. And obviously I could just hit the open button now on there, but actually I'm going to go back to the uh, back to the main menu on the phone and I'm just going to drag that and drop it on that main desktop there and we'll open it. And the first thing that you see the first time you run it, and you don't get this obviously every time, but you do get this assistant the first time round. So we're going to say, I accept the Beldon uh, communications terms of use, and we want to use the third option there, which is use a SIP account. Um, there are certain functions which, if you use a Linphone account, then there are additional functions that are available. But given that what we want is the basic SIP functionality, um, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to say, I understand to that warning. We're then going to chuck the username in. That's not the username. The username is normally your extension number on most phone systems. I'm going to paste the password in because I've got that onto the clipboard. Um, I'm going to obfuscate the domain just because I don't want the whole internet knowing what domains I'm using for my phone systems because that doesn't seem like a great idea. Sure, if you were suitably skilled, you could probably work it out. Um, and when for the display name, we're just going to go with Gareth. We're going to select UDP as the transport type, and we're going to say log in. Perfect. And you can see top left hand corner now that's got a green circle and says connected. Um, and if I just dial one of the other extensions on the system and hit the button, you can't see that phone because it's on the other desk over there, but you can hear that phone ringing now. Um, and there's a message popped up to say, do you want it to allow it to record audio? Yes, we absolutely do. 
Um, so that's perfect. That's working exactly as expected. Do love it when a plan comes together. So we'll grab the uh, iPhone now. There we go. I spoke too soon. Things were working and then the iPhone let me down. But it's working again now. So, uh, looking at the iPhone, it's a very, very similar thing. We're going to go to the App Store. I'm going to hit the search thing on the bottom right-hand corner there. And I'm going to type Linhone. No, apparently I'm not. I'm going to type something different. <clears throat> uh, and on iOS, uh, it appears to be the second option there. I'm assuming that that top option is some sort of advert, but you can see it's the same. Uh, it's the same icon there. So the uh, the orange with the orange phone in the centre of a speech bubble. We're going to hit get. I'm going to use Touch ID to confirm, and that's going to download. So I will just hit open on this one. Now, uh, immediately iOS asks you a load of questions. Would you like it to send you notifications? Yes, we probably would. Do you want it to access your photos? Mm, I'm not sure why it needs that, but I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, I'd like to access your contacts. That's really useful because it accesses your address book on your phone. I'd like to access your camera. Again, we're not using the video functionality, but I'm gonna say okay, just because I don't really see any reason not to. Um, and we're, we're welcomed with a very similar screen, so we're going to say accept the Beldon Communications T's and C's. And we're going to use a SIP account, and I understand. So I'm going to chuck the details in here. Now, I happen to know that this won't work. Um, however, I will show you what you need to do to make it work. So I've just chuck the same details into into there, um, and we're going to say login. Now, if you look very carefully, there was a little authentication window appears and then vanishes again. You need to put the password into that authentication box, but it's gone, so you can't. Um, and you can see in the top uh, top side there, top left hand side, it says uh, red circle with connection failed. Um, but what I'm going to do is essentially I'm going to go. I'm going to dial the uh, extension that I dialed last time, 1001, and I'm going to hit call. And as soon as I do that, it pops up that authentication box. So we can just paste that password in again, confirm password, and then it starts working. We'll say OK, we want it to use the microphone. Don't know why it didn't ask out at the start, but it didn't. Um, and there we go. So we now have. Two phones, both connected, both working. Perfect. So there we are, uh, relatively simple and straightforward. Um, username, password, uh, the either the IP address or the domain name of the uh, PBX server that you're using. And, uh, and yep, Limphone is up working and doing what it should. So uh, thank you ever so much for watching the video. If you are in a position where you need some help with um, with telephony, with you know phone services, um, obviously please feel free to get in touch. Um, if there's any other kind of IT consulting that you need help with, network cabling, uh, network security, any of that sort of stuff, give us a shout and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching the video. If you would uh, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of content, that would be awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.